Well, we all have mall memories, whether it's pictures with Santa or fun in the food court. Tonight, Fox 2's Mike Colombo takes us on a nostalgic walk down memory lane as St. Louisans share their mall memories with us, new at nine. What's up, St. Louis? It's your boy, Sandy Entertainer. Long before star St. Louis and Cedric the Entertainer had a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, he'd walk to a North St. Louis bus stop on his way to shop in Jennings. I used to catch the 41 Lee River Roads bus, baby, right there at Kings Highway and Lee and ride it to River Roads Mall. That was one of my favorite ones right there, River Roads Mall, man. They don't even have that no more. They don't exist. Demoed nearly 20 years ago, said's River Roads remembrances remain. In fact, everyone who shared their mall memories with us expressed a fondness for those gone but not forgotten St. Louis shopping centers. Being a kid, going down to the St. Louis Center. Getting on the bus at the Del Mar Loop and coming here at West Roads to go to Sticks, Bear and Fuller. Coming to the mall, either Northwest Plaza, St. Louis Center, looking for an outfit before we go out to the club at night. Three, two, one. St. Louis Center closed a little more than 20 years after it opened, but it is still top of mind for another familiar face. I remember Famous Bar, the restaurant there, the candy counter, my mom shopping for jewelry, and you'd go out in the mall, just all your favorite stores. For other Fox 2 folks, Crestwood Plaza was the place their mall memories were made. It seems like the mall was a place of firsts. I got my first running shoes at the mall, and I got my first record at the mall. You go to the sporting goods store, you get a little bit older, you'd go into Spencer's, because that was a little bit racy, and if we were really lucky, we'd go across the street and knock on the window at Casey. In 1960, then Massachusetts Senator John F. Kennedy spoke at Crestwood Plaza. A unique moment in the history of a mall that's now history. But some of that history lives on where the structure once stood. The villages at Crestwood Crossing feature street names like Woolworth Drive and Exilorama Court, the latter an ode to the mall's old arcade. As for yours truly, I worked at Crestwood Mall in high school and then worked here at the Galleria after I graduated college and before I got my first job in TV. My mall memory happened here with my little brother and my mom. When we were younger, we would come here and could not enter this mall without touching this fountain and it is still running today. The St. Louis Galleria was redeveloped and expanded on the original site of West Road Shopping Center. In 2002, West County Center reopened after major reconstruction. The mall is beautiful. It is beautiful. So many fantastic stores. While those malls are still open, one that closed more than a decade ago stands out for many St. Louisans. The OG Northwest Plaza. Oh, Northwest Plaza got to be. We would catch the St. Charles Rock Road bus and go and hang out at the mall from Normandy High School and just have a ball. The store merry-go-round, the till all that. I miss it all, man. It was the first time I got, got put on like with the good colognes. That's when we start wearing the polo and the chorus and the dracar and the obsession. Y'all know nothing about that. And with the rise of online shopping and changing consumer habits, generations to come may know nothing about the malls their predecessors held dear. But if your jaunt down memory lane includes Jamestown Mall or the Southtown Famous, Consider yourself in good company. But that's St. Louis Malls for you, man. Love it. Ah, holla, let's go. STL, mall life. Mike Colombo, Fox 2 News.